Man, the fact that I can still gain levels is very strange. I wonder if, like, gaining levels past a certain point... Bargain? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? What else am I going to do? Let's see. Smelting. Actually, we should probably grab engineering so I can make droids and also industrial structures work faster. Uh, yeah, masonry, maybe. Extra damage to bosses, actually. Really kind of necessary there. Gambling. Pretty much not interested in gambling. For that, let's grab evasion. I guess let's grab gluttony. Gaining EXP when eating. Feels like that should have been a much lower perk. Because by the time it's finally worth it for you to pick that up, you really just don't need it anymore. Okay, well, let's buy the rest of the world. Goodbye, Potino Crashy. I'll rebuild you soon enough. Let's see, do we have all the EXP items, by the way? I think I'm missing a couple of books. Pretty sure I am. Oops. Mr. Moneybags over here, hmm? Yes. I am the picture of a very wealthy man. Because that's just what I am. Oh boy, I am... I have no fish. Uh, let's see, if I bought everything? Yeah, of course I've bought everything here. Alright, buy land. What? What do you mean? What do you mean I cannot purchase? Is it because I'm too close? That's probably actually exactly it. Yep, was too close. Onwards and this way words. Keep buying out the planet. Oh, There we go. Bought, bought every land. Next order of business. Actually reaching it. Mm, I guess we should probably go make a bunch of royal steel. Uh, I should probably go make some more of those mini... Mini furnaces. And now that I have everything, industrial. Small furnaces. Because I'm pretty sure I don't have one of these making fish anymore. Because I think I stopped that. Okay, yeah, we should probably have a couple of these making cooked fish. Because yeah, I have Madcap Infinite Fish now. Let's see, and considering how slow these are, I'm just going to make it so we are producing infinite royal steel. Oh, I can't imagine we're ever going to run out of gems. And if we are, I just go digging for a while. Plus, I'm pretty sure we could just do, like, transmutation, and that would solve problems. So we got some... Little dungeony things. I know people are like, get the thunder rod. It'll make mining really easy, which is truth. It's just like, by the point that I get to any of the dungeons in this game, it just doesn't matter anymore. Money is like the least... It's like one of the last things I deal with, which also includes land expansions. We really should probably... Get some more mining rods and blister. Royal Steel and Electronics are really annoying bottlenecks for this game. Yup. But did I... Did I actually kill myself? I did! <laughs> Whoops. Where's my food? There's my food. Oh, it's on the toolbar. But after everything else. God. Toolbar sorting would be very nice. Also, permanent potions. That is a mod that I will probably look into. Let's see, what's this got? Builder! Okay, so why don't we build industrial... I can build at least one mining rod to cover this entire area. That'll probably have to do. And also a blister right next to it.
might get some extra ballistas just in case. Yeah, stackable durations would be ni nice. Ballistas would be nice. There's a couple of different things. That would really, really solve a lot of these, like, little bottlenecks and inventory issues. Like, I'd be super down with a really expensive potion. Costs, like, a hundred times as many ingredients, but you never have to make another one. It really nerfed mining rods, didn't they? Yeah, mining rods are not nearly as good as they used to be. They're very expensive. Like, even more so than they used to be. And, uh... They do not produce nearly, nearly as much, or they're not nearly as strong. I think you can get nuclear ones, maybe? We'll have to attempt, we'll have to attempt that. Because that would make a lot of sense if you could actually upgrade them with the nuclear upgrade kit. Hey, bows don't consume ar arrows anymore. Yes. Now get out of here, weird torches. You have no bearing on my life. True fly. And get out of here. Hey there, I'm an engineer. Tell I'm smart pretentious because I told you what my job is, even though you never asked. Anyway, since I'm better than you, go fetch me some materials from my factory, please. How much is that? Oh, if that screws things up, that's okay. It was worth it. What the... Ow! I thought I had a blister near here. Oh, I guess I don't. Don't. Okay. So that's got that area sorted. This area is still a mess. Everything, everything is still a mess. If filling in the world takes time... Probably eat some more fish. Fish straight to my face. Oh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Hmm. We could get some lighthouses down. I have a couple of silly ideas. Or I could just ignore it. Let's grab that. I don't really know much of any of these things that I immediately need. Oh, do we want to... Hmm. I actually want to put a power plant over here. I could? No, 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 no. Because we can't actually turn these into nuclear furnaces. So, just going to avoid that. So, I guess what we need to do is actually get the sigil table down, probably. The sigil maker. Void portal. Uh, yeah, that's easy enough. Okay, and while we're here, what do I need for the crystal bow? Royal steel. Just a lot of it. That's fair. But I'm assuming we need to go into the void to actually get a lot of stuff. There's also slime sigil, electronics. Someone's a very rude robot. I'm gonna have to work on that. Unfortunately, I'm going to need a lot of things. Uh, let's see. So if I want to take a look at spirit orbs, we need bottle fairies, which are not as common as I'd like them to be. I don't know if there's an easy way to get them normally, too. I know I could buy a lot of this nuclear stuff, but I kind of don't want to. Because, yeah, could buy it, but then I wouldn't learn nearly as well what the heck any and all of these are. Okay. It's gonna drop both of those. Explode into resources for me. Now I have a lot of those. What are you fighting? There's a lot of these guys around. Okay, uh, Ballista? Ballista.
I'm just gonna cover this entire area in blisters. Problem solved. So, now that we've done that, uh, let's see. We were, we were working on Royal Steel. I should probably continue that. Now let's let's just continue the eternal furnace wall down the entire map. Okay, let's take a look at Royal Steel. Yeah, I can I can still do infinite Royal Steel. I guess I'll have four going. Let's make that an even five. How are we doing on steel? I got a fair bit. We'll get a little bit more. Especially because we've got infinite amounts of everything else. Can I... Can't actually interact with half of these. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, glass. have a lot of glass. I think I'm producing glass. I could be wrong. Uh, one way or another, going to just ignore. Ignore that for a bit. How are we doing on golden meek? <laughs> yeah, I did say there's pretty much zero chance we're ever going to uh, run out of gold or iron. at this point. So, we're just we're just going to toss that down. Okay. And can I get an excavator? I'll grab it. And a hoarder. And a scholar. Well, now we have an infinite amount of crystally things. So, what do we do? I guess I'm gonna try something silly. Where are my where'd my scrolls go? Nuclear banks a thing. That sounds hilarious. I don't think so. Okay, so we're having issues. We need a lot of lavender. Easy solution for lavender, more lighthouses. And so everything on this side here is bordering a bunch of lighthouses. So we can just kind of make use of this right in this spot. Uh, it's like 16. It's not as good as it could have been. I guess what I could do... We could actually tear up the whole the whole quarry system and actually move it over. Right, before I kill myself by just infinite mining. But yeah, I could move all the lighthouses over here. Or just find a spot that borders multiple zones. Hmm. Because yeah, the problem is my current my current location is not perfect. It gets a decent amount of resources, but it's not quite enough. And that tower is very much in the way. Let's see ballistas. At least ballistas themselves are pretty cheap. Okay, let's go back up here. How many... Make six of those. Uh, let's see. So crystal boots need royal cloth, royal clothing. Okay, so twelve. Oh, because we're almost out of thread. That's the answer. Because yeah, we don't have a whole lot of thread. I guess we could look into farming within range of the lighthouses. That might not be the bad. Uh, that might not be a bad idea. Still haven't found the frozen relic. I'm assuming that's something we do in a dungeon. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, turning off the obliterator. Turning off the hammer. We don't actually need that anymore. I'm going to turn the bow back on. Uh, let's see. I'm going to turn off the sword. Huh. Question. No. I mean, I am actually harming the resources with my bow here. Which means I can... I, it's, it's like dynamite fishing, but with a bow. Uh, let's see, can you rapid fire? At least... I can't yet. Maybe it's an option later. Let's see, could buy another beach sigil. Last time I did that, it sucked, though. But... I am stupid wealthy, so we're gonna buy it and then just not use it. See, am I gonna use the portal thing? Yeah, sooner than later. I'm just being lazy. Because, yeah, I was hoping to upgrade my bow at the very least before I can do... Uh, before I can do any more. Nope, that's it. That's the stuff. Yeah, as soon as it flashes, I can fire things off make spirit orbs but we need purple pigment in mass and that requires beets nightshade and lavender well now we can at least make 21 I guess I'll just do that so yeah demon bow requires electronics 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 and other stuff and void steel Oh, it just all requires electronics. Uh, huh. Alright, screw it. We're going on an adventure. Become venomous. Become thunderous. Wisdom draughts. Luck. And let's go. Probably should have actually grabbed some shrine buffs while we were here, but that's okay. Uh, I've I've no idea if there's actually anything of any immediate value here apart from void stuff, but I'm gonna grab it anyway. Oh, what if I could build lighthouses here? Now that's probably a stupid idea. Oh, and no, I don't have my cat along, or any of my, or any of my drones. But yeah, so this is going to get us the Void Ore, which we so so far have not been able to harvest on our own. Hey, thank you Grim Mooser for the two gifted subs. Do not piss off your girlfriend too much by being generous, but thank you all the same. What the? Oh. I didn't even, I didn't even need the bow upgrade, to be honest. No one saw that. Oh, I didn't, thank you. Use the Obliterator. I can. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Let's turn that back on. Yeah, looks like if I want it... Oh, well, there, there's my drone. What can I sell while we're here? Sell that. Sell the flower seeds. Yeah, so if I wanted to be really, uh, really lazy, eh, no, that's not lazy at all. That would, this would take more time. Yeah, if I wanted to, I could actually go, like, way out of my way to, um, to mine out all of the land around here. But I don't, I don't think that's worth it. So is, is this it? Just for this area? Just a, an infinite mining location? I guess I haven't tried digging. Uh, let's turn off the obliterator shovel. Looks like it's just gems. There might be some other things. Also, the music in here is really quiet. Made it to level one. 
What? Oh. Oh, there was a list down at the bottom. Okay. So he wants a dinosaur egg. Dinosaur egg, I'm pretty sure you get by digging around here. Or maybe you get it from digging in the in one of the other regions. I don't remember if you get it from the desert or otherwise. Where the heck did I put my cat? I know I put the cat away. Oh, I, I pressed E and I got the cat. There we are. There we go. Now I got my cat back. I've exploded some creatures. I feel no remorse. But they were vaguely in my way. Okay, there's the puzzle zone. I don't know how much I care about the puzzle zone. Like, every time I play this game, I definitely definitely feel less and less, like, interested in clearing out the, the random... Uh, structures that I've already clean, cleaned out. So I think I'm probably just going to give that a, a bit of a pass. Yeah, the real answer is every time, every time I see lights out, I'm just like, ugh. And my will to ever do it again drops. Maybe I'll do it at some point, but like, just as tempted to just blast it and then not think about it ever again. Okay, uh, let's see. Do we want to tear all this stuff up? Actually, easy peasy. I'm just going to tear up these lighthouses. We're just going to move them to the other side. And then I'm going to have to make some more lighthouses up in the ice area. Maybe ice desert? Yeah. Right at the border between the two. That seemed that seems like the best solution. Cause yeah, by putting them in the border between the ice desert and then just over to the left, should be okay. I'm gonna get a little bit more stamina. Just so I'm not constantly moving things around. Let's grab her back. Then break this up and move it around. Grab all that. Uh, let's see. So we want to get... Keep buying that. I guess I'm going to buy the animal feed. Anything useful there? A little bit. Anything useful here? Cinder bloom. We should be good on cinder bloom. At some point I'll make a giant merchant row as well. But... Later. Wish there was a hotkey to just send everything to the vault so I didn't have to. Well, at least now we've got a bunch of void roses. So that's good. I wish vaults still functioned while you're in alternate zones. Because that would save me some time. Anything else that I can clear from my inventory? Yeah, let's get rid of the cooked meat. We don't need that. Okay. Sort that down. Much more inventory. So, how's everything doing? Very, very slow. We can do some nuclear stuff. But I should probably make a new crafting zone first. Just to speed things along. You smelting? Keep trying to fast forward. Sorry. Sorry, I'm so slow. Order a scholar? I guess we really don't need scholars much anymore. Right, my shovel moved. Shovel moved. That was throwing me off. Clear that out. Yeah, earlier I wanted to talk about D&D &D stuff. Unfortunately, it's one of those where this game, uh, when I first started, I can rant about stuff. I, I want to say for the, like, first two hours of, the, of this game, it's just, like, carte blanche. Talk about whatever the heck you want and it won't matter. Uh, and then after a certain point... Oh, I guess that just got opened somehow. Uh, 
And then after a certain point, you get you get to the the spot where you actually have to like think about things, and it's just like, oh, right, effort. And then maybe after a certain point, well, and then after that point, then you're just done. Then you're just not playing anymore. Which I guess is fair too. You're just used to YouTube. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, a lot of people are. But yeah, yay D&D. &D. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I I was kind of voicing, I guess, I like both D&D, &D, uh, 5th Edition and Pathfinder. I would like to do some more Starfinder and um, Pathfinder 2nd Edition. But I think I'm going to wait until... I'm going to wait a while before I get back into that. Let's keep increasing my damage. I don't actually know if that affects my structures. I certainly hope it does. Okay. So we have enough electronics. Let's go find let's go find a spot that isn't terribly full. This whole area actually That's probably best for a bunch of lighthouses though. Oh, just the, the evil jerk jerk wizards are just still there. Because, yeah, this still remains probably one of the best areas for me to just build stuff in. It's just going to take a while. Well, I guess the other thing is, uh, let's see. Let's grab the obliterator. I'm just going to get rid of these two. Get out of here, sheep. There we go. Yeah, we don't we don't need those anymore. And then all we have left here is this this lady and a banana. Hard being a princess in the desert. No flowers to grow here. A flowerless princess. Sad. A flower. Now have now have that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the main problem is we gotta make we've gotta make way more land masses. Oh, because this stops. More landfills. It's, it's super tempting to just put it on infinite for at least a little while. I think that's I think that's gonna be what I'm gonna do. Just let that run. Wanderers exploding with EXP. I am. It's not actually worth as much as you think it would be. <sighs> like it looks like I'm getting a ton. I kind of am, but at this point, it's honestly more economical. I don't even know where to get legendary gems from. Uh, more economical for me to go for, like, spirit orbs. I Maybe banking the, the fairies in a bottle does not actually count for crafting. Or I've just been chugging, chugging them at high speeds. Or I use them for something. I, I don't know. There's a bunch of potential options here. Get out of my way, ship. You're an inconvenience. Okay, so... It's not the best spot. I guess, why am I, why am I doing this? So we actually want to, we want to kind of strip mine this area. I do kind of wish I could fly. Being able to completely disregard stuff. What are you? What are you? Why, why do you exist? Why are you freezing me? What did he drop? Leather? Hmm. Interesting. I haven't really encountered those critters before. Yeah, not exactly the best spot to put a bunch of lighthouses, but I think I'm going to do it anyway, just because it's like... It still remains one of the better... better... dual ice... Well, it's the only dual ice location that we really have. I mean, there's this spot too, but I don't think I can get rid of that. All right. Once again, I didn't really need to fill this in, did I? Let's see. Okay, D&D, huh? Win. 
Uh, Benabra? Gift for flashback. Sorry about that. Okay. Like I said, really, really difficult to focus sometimes. This game it takes just enough brain power after a certain point that I'm just like, okay, gotta focus on game. Talk about D&D when I can. Anyway, uh, so probably gonna be doing 5th edition. Gonna be doing it with, uh, let's see. Hopefully Ash Jazz and Kaku Joe. And then we'll figure out if we want to include more cast members as we go along. My personal preference is to keep it kind of... Um, kind of limited, just because I find otherwise uh, we just end up with, with too many people. Perfect. Four lighthouses? That'll work. Let's go, let's go get a uh, builder buff. I'm not entirely sure what setting I'm doing so far. I mean, obviously, almost all of my campaigns end up being homebrew, just because it's so much easier for me to sit down and say, like, hey, uh, this is my world, anything goes. So I don't have to worry about some, like, whoops. I think those are EXP scrolls. I could be wrong. Let's see. Because I'm probably going to want to move these. Okay. But yeah, so... Group of... Uh, let's see. Get out of my way, cat. Group of, what, four, five? Tops? Should be pretty good. I don't really care about team party lineups or anything like that, so if we end up with, like, four wizards, I'll just adjust. Make every fight real quick, but also kind of scary, because everybody chose wizard for some reason. Um, I know Shell specifically would change if somebody was playing the same class as her. Um, but that's okay. Do I... Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna destroy that. Tempting to get rid of the sword shrine too, but eh, it's only a little bit in the way. I can work with that. So why don't we go see if I can get a builder shrine? I want to turn the bow off. I don't know. Think about it. Uh, let's see. So I've talked about this a little bit on Discord as far as like what the content of it would be. And to be honest, I still don't fully know what I would do. D&D uh, &D campaigns are... tend to be a little bit on the long side and tend to be a little hard to, like, put together. Let's see. Okay, I've got 73 now, so I should be able to fill this in. Um... One thing I was thinking of is actually kind of a, again, a series of, like, not one-off campaigns, but, like, short campaigns that are easy to specifically organize. Uh, and I had a campaign idea where effectively, like, the world got deleted, which, yeah, kind of similar to how one of my campaigns went in the past, uh, if you watch Grave of Man. But instead of, you know, running off and, like, kind of just not dealing with it, it would be much more of a, like, hey... Uh, here are the tools to actually fix things. Go fix it. And I think that could be kind of interesting uh, from a, a mechanic standpoint of, like, giving players uh, map tiles, for example. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Uh, so giving players map tiles that actually, like, have forest on them or a town on them or something like that. And so as they slowly, like, piece together uh, their f fractured planet. Eh, cat's in the way again. Or actually, I don't know if it's the cat or if it's the bug. An auto bug vacuum would be lovely in this game. I'm, I'm curious to see if we get too many uh, modders, or if we get a bunch of modders with, like, really interesting auto mining rods effectively. That'd be lovely. I still have the Builder Shrine? Yeah, I still get the Builder Shrine for a little while longer. Uh, oh 
God damn it. I'm in the way, but also bugs are in the way. Why are there so many bugs here? I mean, I'll grab them all. I know we need them for stuff. That's a little excessive. Okay, then we'll move these around. Uh, let's see, it's economic. Okay, there we go. That should probably be enough lighthouses for this area. I could go a little bit more excessive. What we're probably going to want to do is... Do we want to move the fishing traps? Maybe. Unfortunately, because of this perk, I don't actually see the... I don't see the fishing traps working at all anymore. So this should be good enough, at least for now. Uh, let's see, do I still have... Yes. Yes. Give me. How many is that? Nine? I feel a bit unsatisfied. I was hoping for more than nine. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely getting fish. They're certainly working. It's just a matter of, like... I would love to be able to see them still tracking up. Oh, but I guess you never saw progress bars on the fish. I wish you could see progress bars on the fish. Okay. Oh, I don't have the... Let's grab this. Okay, excavator. Grab hoarder. Grab industrious. Scholar. Keep Industrious going longer. Scholar again. Industrious again. Merchant again. Damn it, I wanted Builder. I guess we'll just wait. We could get... Nah. Nah, I'll wait on that one. Uh, let's see, so I don't really want a whole lot of this stuff. I mean, I guess I'll buy this. Seeing as I have so much money, I can just buy everything. Oh, plastic. Note to self, buy plastic. Plastic sucks. I mean, maybe it doesn't suck that much, but still. Okay. Yeah, how good is sand now? I'll have to double check. I think I'm doing fine on sand. I guess let's just grab carpentry. I don't think I need more. Uh, let's see. How much do I get when I bash this open? Freaking can't tell through the cloud of EXP. It's like a couple hundred something or others. I'm so disappointed you can't shovel anymore. Okay, let's take a look at sand. Uh, that's glass. I guess this would be the one to check. Glass. I got 4.3 thousand sand. That's probably good enough. Okay. So I didn't end up getting the building rod. I don't have enough electronics. Well, okay. So let's just... Let's tear all of this up. I'm going to need a lot more of a lot of things, but it's about time that we tear all this up and replace replace it, add some power, uh, add some power plants, go bananas. I've got enough landfills too, so let's, let's fill this out. I almost kind of wish you could like pave things so no monsters would spawn in the area, but then again, monsters spawning in the area have not been an issue in a considerable amount of time. Yeah, we might want to move our vaults elsewhere entirely. I have them over by the mini forges. Yeah, I guess that's actually a fine spot to do. To do it still. 
Uh, let's see. Break that. Break that. Honestly, just gonna get rid of that. We don't need it. Like, the shrines would be nice, but they only provide me extra EXP, and at this point, I am beyond needing EXP. Unless bonus levels just gave you spirit orbs. At which point, hell yeah, I'd still want to be farming EXP. That's actually a really cool idea. I'd love to see them actually implement that. Yeah, I want to. I want to play for keeps in this area. So let's clear this out. Clear you out. Uh, that goes a bit faster. Okay, so we need power plants. Now, somebody once told me uh, that power plants you can't stack them. Is that is that still truth? 